G'day, I'm David G, Sheshnag Yoga Centre, Sheshnag.com, what on earth is Kundalini? This video is about how we're magnets on some subconscious level that we don't even realise. Last year I wrote a list, which was a different list to the previous list. I've had a tendency in the past to write one about the persona that I carry and the things that I like about myself so I try and attract a partner into my life that represents basically what I like about myself on a superficial level or some other things energetically to do with whatever. Sleep patterns, interests, constitution, a few things like that. Last year I wasn't interested in anyone following heartbreak and near-death experience. So, not near-death experience where you go and see like God and you, God turns you around and says go and live because you need to be a bodhisattva or you need to do this or whatever. Not one of those near-death experiences, just a near-death experience where I got on the piss, drunk too much alcohol, almost died, woke up the next morning thinking what the heck are you doing mate? <laughs> that sort of near-death experience. Anyway, I wrote a list, what do I write on it? Four things. I wrote that I wanted to get in touch with my sensuality, or just four words, it was sensuality, slash sensitivity. I wanted to, um, the next one was energetic appreciation, basically. Um, to feel energy. The next one was divinity and the next one was deep mind so then I was going along in my everyday life expressing the se sexual interpretation of love the culturally imposed interpretation of what a male looks for for fulfillment into my life walk someone who fell in love with and soon after being in my life I realized that she actually represented or came to allow me to enhance some of all of those things on the list I have been confronted beyond belief this year my previous identity has been ripped to shreds been totally reamed out um, which is a good thing because on the list I asked for um, enhance sensitivity and enhance sensuality try and understand my senses and work through those on a physical sense I was feeling a bit disembodied escaping through pain or for, from pain through addiction and distraction so this year I've minimised addictions which has allowed me to go deep within my pains. Also, she's a very energetic, sensitive person. I'm a very sensitive person too. You can't have the insight that I have without being incredibly sensitive and intuitive. In that sensitivity, I've chosen to escape from the pain that I've brought upon myself. This year, I've opened myself up to more pain. I've opened myself to love. I've dropped all my facades and I've exposed my vulnerability. I keep getting hurt in that vulnerability. In that vulnerability, I've come to appreciate that I am human. And we are here to feel, thanks to Joss Way. He said, why else are we here but to feel? And I encourage and appreciate his expression. And personally, I found feeling... An essential component of who I am. I've also found it very uncomfortable because I'm not used to it. I come from a culture where expression of our feelings harmoniously, whether they're pleasant or displeasant, isn't really accepted or encouraged. So my sensuality has increased to no end. I've got to slow down, be embodied, realise that I've got to come from the heart. The energetic experience of life, even though I'm pretty subtle, 
there's another energetic experience which has to do with connection between human beings. I've always been scared to look into people's eyes because all I see is pain. Now I realise it was probably my pain that I was getting reflected back at me. If you look into most people's eyes, most people are pretty genuine. They're pretty soft in the deepness of their soul through their eyes. They're pretty vulnerable. They're genuine. And they're scared too. Everyone's scared. We're not so unsure of who we really are. We don't know who we want to be. So energetically, this year's been phenomenal. Traumatic and painful. A lot of my joys disappeared because the joy was a superficial joy. Now I'm working on the real joy, which is the joy of the heart. So, in this experience, I've come to realize that the true divinity creates these situations from your own self, from your higher, more subtle aspects. There's some really deep things going on. And if you're open to it, life coordinates it. There are no coincidences and not one snowflake falls out of place. No coincidences. And I'm a firm believer in the divine and the all-pervading essence of God. Firm believer. So I don't believe in coincidence. It's not like I believe in coincidence when that suits me and when it doesn't. Or I endorse good karma and at the shunman of bad karma. All karma, all experiences are karma. Some are pleasant and displeasant, unpleasant, but they're all coordinated by yourself for yourself. So my experience of divinity has actually been enhanced. There's some deep-seated stuff going on. Phenomenal. I don't even know how the rational mind or the human mind can comprehend it. I'm a very lucky person that I can see the enmeshment of life and how it functions behind the scenes. Very lucky. The other part on the list, deep mind. Boy, crikey. Deep in my mind. Got these pains around rejection. Um, the pain around being alone. I've compensated in my life by um, trying to prove myself. And because there's a lot of aggressive people out there in the business world, I've sort of retracted. In my deep mind, I have this ability to isolate myself and withdraw myself, which is a, sort of a family trait in a way. But as I isolate myself, it's like I've conditioned myself to try and reject myself or preempt the rejection before it happens, so then I can isolate myself before the rejection happens, so I can justify being rejected and also minimize the pain of that rejection by actually expecting it rather than being open to not being rejected by being strong enough to endorse the experience in my own vulnerability and love. And through that, i found that the deepest wound I have is around rejection. Which is very painful for me. Other people have different ones. You know, I've got a cycle in my life to do with rejection. Keep perpetuating it. It's, oh, it hurts. I don't know if the... I've only just cottoned on to that being my deepest pain. And also cotton on to the appreciation of divinity and how precise it is in coordinating experiences where I actually reject myself so I can be rejected. Everyone does it. If you stand back and look at your own psyche or your own patterns in your life, then you'll find that that's what you do. Anyway, that's been my life this year. And my energy's changed. Hopefully I'm a lot more embodied. I was a lot more emotional following my despair last year after some sort of heartbreak. 
this experience has created heartbreak or re um, expressed it in a way that has been in a loving relationship and one that's allowed the grace of two beings to be together and work through it. It's been not very pleasant and for me to work through my deep mind stuff and my own wounds to be present in my heart in some stillness takes some reprogramming for me even like I love to reprogram myself I love to be conscious of my unconscious or subconscious so it can come to the surface of the lake and just float away and then I can regroove my own LP to do with shifting the old patterns into new patterns this one's the hardest lesson I've ever had to experience it's been a long time coming on mid 40s I've been looking into things for a long time and for this one to be a, in my life for me to be able to reprogram I found it quite divine at the same time as extremely painful and there's parts of me that want to cling on to my old identity the superficial short-lived pleasure-based identity most of me wants to go in for the long haul for some sort of longevity around love s sustenance sustaining the company of someone to be able to hold each other in a certain space to be able to accept ourselves as humans and appreciate both the pleasant and displeasant unpleasant experiences or reflections of ourselves through the other person giving people time and space to be able to work through their own things at a pace that suits them okay there you go there's a bit of personal stuff the deep mind stuff's pretty painful but I'm here to get through it then we'll go from there endorse the pain no don't endorse it just appreciate it as a part of life pleasure and pain that's a true tantric perspective isn't it the duality of experience and in the stillness of life subconscious stuff comes to the surface so you can face it if you sit back and witness that then you're lucky if you're even conscious of it you're luckier that'll do that's a wrap om namah shivaya hara hara maha dev hara hara maha dev hara hara maha dev sheshnag.com what on earth is kundalini i'm david g share the world <laughs>